Hello everyone and welcome to Lavellia's Coloring. We'll be coloring the eighth day in my advent calendar that was illustrated by Chihiro Shiyomi. The link to her Etsy and to this PDF will be down below in the video description. So we have day one, two, and oh my goodness, three. <laughs> Four is up here. Then we have five, then we have six, then seven, and then we are up to eight. So eight is just like half of the doorway here, the rooms and the window. And I'm going to also color in the snow. So you can see that I already did the background part. So hopefully that will cut down some time. Uh, there is construction going on right now. I did try to wait. <laughs> to see if it'll, they'll do something else or maybe lunchtime or something so I can record. But uh, if you do hear anything in the background, it is the construction. My son is sleeping right now and uh, he may wake up, so he may pop up sometime in the video also. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so... We are going to go ahead and get started. I'm just going to go ahead and start with the hearts. So I have fuchsia right here, which is number 436. And I am going to also use the cherry blossom, 011. So I did try to wait for the construction to quiet down. But if I wait any longer, it's going to be really late probably not till the afternoon so I was like I'm just gonna go ahead and get started and hopefully it won't be too noticeable if I am speaking so also I am still like, I still have allergies <laughs> just to let you know I tried to minimize my uh, sneezing or uh, sniffling so if I sound weird in some points, it's probably because I'm trying to prevent myself from sniffling before I um, stop the video so I can blow my nose. But anyways, how is everyone doing? We are already into our second week of December are you guys done with your Christmas shopping so I'm gonna be coming in with the olive yellow 198 and olive green 189 for these little things they're really really small so to be doing oh I missed the spot right there too much not so much but yeah I'm still waiting for my siblings uh, list my parents list but the kids are done because my husband went and bought some stuff during <laughs> Black Friday I actually didn't buy anything on Black Friday um, there were some deals like on some pencils and markers, but oh my goodness, loud. So, but I my markers are still good, and I think they'll still be good for another year. So I thought I would just wait. And plus, I banned myself from buying any more pencils because I am subscribed to the Felicima. So. <laughs> I think those are already like presents every month, so kind of tried to stay away from looking. I tried to look for stuff to get my kids, but again, you know, my husband already did that. So later on today, my husband's going to take me out to my Target and Costco and Walmart. I want to do some like stocking stuffers for the kids just get that done and so we don't have to worry about it anymore I will do those little circles 
So again, I'm going to start with the raw umber and the ivory. Raw umber, I'm just going to make like little C's around those bulbs. But did you guys find any great deals from from Black Friday on Amazon or any other stores? I didn't really do any much shopping. Actually, no wait, I lied. Um, not not on Amazon. I did um, end up buying diamond paintings from Diamond Art Club, and then on Cyber Monday, I did buy diamond painting from. A store it's a US based store called craftably um, thanks to me Brox I watched her video of her unboxing of the Jasmine Beckett Griffith uh, diamond painting and when I realized that she had a diamond painting out and it's licensed and everything and I told myself if she ever puts one out I'm gonna go ahead and get it so I did. <laughs> so that's what I did. So we're going to do the frame um, and the door frame right over here. So I'm going to start off with the cool gray number four, five, three, four. Cool gray number two, five, three, two. So yes, I'm very excited to see um, Jasmine Beckett Griffith's diamond painting. I got the frost drag draglings. I think that's the one. That's the name of the um, painting. And the there was one that was like um, the one that May Brox um, shared on her channel. And that was the same. I got the same painting. I think it was seventeen ninety nine. So it's like. Should just go ahead and get it then there was a Christmas uh, sale so uh, there was a painting with a Santa so I thought I should just go ahead and get one Santa painting if I don't get it done this year I can do it for next year so I'll go ahead and do the oh actually I want to do the frames last after I do the window panes so I'm gonna go ahead and do the door And then from the Diamond Art Club for Black Friday, I they had so many, <laughs> so it was very hard to choose, and things were just getting sold out while I was trying to make up my mind. I got one from Simona Candeli. Campadelli. I think I've said her name wrong, but I will list her name down below along with the diamond painting that I got. But it was uh, it's kind of like a pastel background, cloudy pinks and blues, and then there's a girl on a pony, a pink pony, I believe, and she's wearing a very pretty pink dress and. I was excited to see her, so I went and got that one. I also got Jeremiah Kettner. His painting, I forgot what the name was, but it has a dark blue, navy, and um, purple color palette. And purple is my favorite color, so I wanted to pick that one up. And plus it's his first one through Diamond art club I don't think he has any other diamond or licensed diamond paintings um, in any other company so I wanted to pick one of his paintings up I don't know when I'll do it but <laughs> I wanted to have at least one of them so the so the door I am going to make it a brown door so I'm gonna make like little grains going down let me find my browns 
Okay, so I picked out the browns that I have that I've already used throughout the page. So I have brown number 099, I have cocoa 098, and burnt umber 180, and also sepia 182. So I'm just going to lay down a layer of the brown. Yeah. So is anyone else doing this um, illustration? I did see one on Instagram uh, that is being colored in by Elm Colors. I really encourage you guys to check her out. Her version of this um, illustration, she's following along with the days too. Um, it's beautiful. It's really gorgeous. I love the colors that she picked out for her page. Especially the way she did her ribbons. Her ribbons were so pretty. <laughs> and yeah, I just, it's really fun to see different versions from different people, how they see the picture. So I'm just gonna, right now, let me come in with the sepia. I'm just going to first do an outline. around the door as close as I can and I'm going to make like little if I can make it straight just eyeballing it <laughs> right now. I think that's good. I'll just do two. Two slots. There. I'm going to come in with the burnt umber and just just doing uh, flicks and just build it up. Uh, I'm not sure how it's going to look but we will see. So I'm just going to put a little bit of the burnt umber, then come in with the cocoa. And just flick it down. Hopefully the background isn't so noisy. It sounds loud to me. So hopefully it's not too bad for everyone else. Uh, I do have a Christmas question. Actually, you know, if you guys have any questions for me, don't um, please uh, ask down below. So I feel like I might run out of things to talk about. So if you have any questions, you know, Christmas related, coloring related, um, just ask down below in the comments and come back in with the brown and just go down here. So the Christmas question that I found is, if you had to be trapped in a Christmas movie, which one would you choose? And at first, the first thought that came to mind was <laughs> any Christmas Hallmark movies, but with my husband as the love interest. <laughs> so, but I was like, ah, you know, that's kind of whatever. <laughs> Anyways, uh, but if I were to pick like a movie that I love to watch, like one of the movies I mentioned in my um, one of the other videos, it would be if I was a kid again, I would have loved to be in the Santa Claus movie to play with the reindeers to be I mean I'm short right now but as a kid I was even shorter so I'd probably fit in to be one of the elves so I thought it would be 
that would be the movie that I would want to be trapped in. I'm just gonna go underneath these. Yeah, so what movies would, or movie would you want to be trapped in? I'm just going, this is the sepia sepia that I'm using. I'm just trying to darken up the sides. I'm probably gonna come back with the lamp black just to sharpen up the shadows or lines that I want. I'm gonna come back in with the burnt umber just add more legs I mean <laughs> it's like I'm taking a lot of time for just half a door but I mean I think it's color until you feel like it's good to you I just want to add a little bit more I'm going to come in with the lamp black just to darken up this part here. And over here. Yeah, my son is still sleeping. Um, kind of had a. He was awake for part of the night. Just he just felt very itchy, so I had to go and lather him up. But and he was cold too, so <laughs> we lathered, I lathered him up, and he's just sleeping comfortably now, and just catching up on some of his sleep. Here. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly color in the broom. Just want to, they're small. I'm just going to color them the both the same. Come in with the brown. And the brooms, um, I'm going to bring in the colors that I use like for gold. I'm just going to... I don't know if I should color these like different or anything like that. Mm. I'm just going to leave that open. Maybe I can color that something. Then I have the cocoa to add as a shadow. So uh, I thought maybe I should just like maybe bring in some color for that one. Let's make it blue. I don't know why. Just to add some more color to this side. I think I need a point here to, <laughs> to get in here. There. Um, I think I did decide to like make these little um, decorations. I wasn't sure. 
I was like, what am I going to do with that? I'm just going to... Mm, I wonder if that's too many gold, though. I'm going to just go ahead and do the windows first while I think about what I want to do with that part. So I'm going to start off with the horizon blue. It's the same thing that I used on the other windows. I'm just filling it in. Oh yeah, I'm I'm catching up on all of the YouTube videos that I have on my to watch list. I think it's over like a hundred right now, <laughs> and I'm trying to watch them all in order as you know when they came out too. So you may see some like late comments from my from me. On the videos that I watch, and I try to say hi, just to say that I've seen their video. So that was the smoke blue that I added, and then I'm just gonna fill this one in too. Right there, and then the smoke blue. Right there. Just gonna put a little bit on these. I'm gonna come in with the bl lamp black. Okay, so I'm just going to, same thing as the other side, just I'm leaving some white so it looks like, you know, like when the sun is reflecting on it, you see a little bit of that light. The same thing down here. Um, maybe I should just make that black. I think I'm gonna make it black. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go down, shade it in, like metal work on the frame of the door. Oops, forgot about these. And... Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, it's still sharp, okay. <laughs> okay, so... There is a little bit of like, ground here. I'm just going to make that hard with the cool gray and now I'm going to come in with the smoke blue for the let me just move this really quick for the snow I'm just going to start in here I'm just going to color it in again I will come back with the Posca so over any of the um, black lines. I am going to go over it with the Posca. Gonna go all around. I think that's a Santa or a guy that's just dropping off some goodies. Just fill it in. Anywhere there's like a um, black line, I'm going on top of it, coloring on top of it. So when I put the uh, Posca, it should, shouldn't be able to see. Right here. Okay. 
I think I got most of it. Excuse me, gotta sneeze. Okay, sorry, I had to <laughs> sneeze, but the sneeze wouldn't come out. So I'm just gonna grab the white. Just a regular white from Holbein, number 500, and just go over it just to soften that uh, smoke blue out. And I did do the white over on this side, uh, but it was after I was already done filming. So I'm just smoothing out the smoke blue right here I was using the Prismacolor so I keep forgetting my pressure on this pencil so trying to adjust so here I go and I'm gonna add a little detail so I'll come in with the silver for these little garlands up here and here So I picked out the Sakura Stardust, uh, it's like the darkest pink and then I think a green. So this one is number 721 and 727. So the Sakura Stardust and I am, um, how was I going to do, um, every other I think, two, three, one, two, three. Air. Then with the green, in here, and then I just gonna continue with the so the Nuvo glitter marker. This is morning moss that I used in the other part. And I'm just going to. Tab it. I'm like holding my breath. <laughs> I don't know if you guys do that too. When you're trying to be precise. So before I forget, number eight, ivory and raw umber. And actually, let me color this in because I forgot this part here. I'm just gonna color it in dark, dark. And here's the sand. There. So um, I'm going to start with the ivory. And the uh, red umber. My pilot juice gel pen. There and then, so I have the clear Sakura Stardust number 700, and putting this and I see I forgot that I did it red here, but I did it a different color here. But it's okay. So I'm just going to go over here. I'm gonna use the 
744 and just is it across here maybe we should add it to the There you go. So we are done with day eight. All right, so thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had fun seeing what I've colored for day eight in Chihiro Shiomi's advent calendar. I hope to see you all at my next video. Please take care, keep safe and healthy, and happy colorings. Bye-bye.